We're gonna be talking about the producer's cut first, then the theatrical cut. There's an unrated theatrical cut as well that probably isn't really worth watching because I think most of that is probably just more gore and or stuff added back to the producer's cut. Michael's mask is much better this time, and I really liked the direction of this one. Now, Michael Myers didn't need to be explained, but at least they found a way to make it compelling and slightly humanizing. With incredible lore, what an ending, even if it's a bit confusing. Now, I'm not defending the incest, that's disgusting, but it belongs in this pagan ritual sense, and it makes sense story-wise, even though it is disgusting and horrifying. Pagan cults gonna be pagan cults doing things like they do. Paul Rudd seems a little bit out of place, but I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed seeing him in this. It's really sad that the producer's cut wasn't the main version, because it was a solid answer to what they've been building to since Halloween 2. It's even sadder we didn't get the follow-ups that were planned after this, but that's because the theatrical cut was so poor. But really, especially when you read about the theatrical cut, the stuff that they add here, 45 minutes of different footage in the producer's cut to change things, to give Jamie more of a screen presence, to make her death less insulting, and make more sense with the cult of thorn everything they add about the runes and with michael myers and how he really was a victim and he was used and the humanity that adds to him along with that incredible twist ending and i'm gonna go ahead and spoil it so if you haven't seen it go ahead and stay away stopping michael with the runes is a payoff from earlier in the film and is a payoff to everything with that's been happening in the other movies that it breaks him of the curse and he's able to swap he's able to beat win put the mask on him as i guess some sort of kind of revenge and fake out so he could escape as he puts on his clothes seeing him walk away not knowing what he's going to do is he twisted from all of that time what is what is his next step what is his motive on top of the cherry on top the twist ending that after all this time after trying to escape michael defeat michael the idea that the mark of thorn is passed on to dr loomis and his realization and what that means is terrifying what would he do what's going to happen next we don't know as that's it but that is really smart i love the ties i love the mythology i love what it does i love the directing of this one now are there some weak elements to it absolutely michael and loomis never meet on screen which is the biggest flaw in either version of the film that you watch the shocking ending kind of makes up for that in my eyes at least i wish the producer's cut was on letterboxd i give halloween the curse of michael myers the producer's cut four out of five stars now let's talk about the theatrical cut because what an absolute mess they destroy the strongest parts of the original halloween 6 by meddling with the producer's cut after an iffy test screen stick by your creators people because the result is the samey first two acts with inferior scenes and build up more gore less lore and a third act that is wrecked by abysmal editing and absolutely horrible plot decisions that aren't explained at all the jumbled ending doesn't make any logistical sense it's incoherent and robs all of the thematic depth of the other mythical cut nothing is explained or resolved the entirety of the film is marred by worse editing with weird flashes of a knife in the rain as transitions and jamie's death here is just awful to the character it's awful this got studio to death the only things worth mentioning here are the elevated gore with great practical effects. And I like the little fight with Michael at the end until the awful flashes of a light mix into Paul Rudd beating him senseless. I think there's a way to re-edit that and add it to the producer's cut and keep them and it would be cool. But the restrained, atmospheric, supernatural tension with a shocking twist ending from the producer's cut is turned into a lazy cash grab to appease teenage viewers gross and the cult of thorn is just a bunch of doctors obsessed with genetically engineering evil and yet they never say that and there's no real explanation at all characters jump in and out of nowhere scenes transition with no real reasoning as what's to happen it just doesn't flow it's not coherent do not watch the theatrical cut of the curse of michael myers watch the infinitely superior cult status fabled producer's cut that is getting a 4k release i give halloween the curse of michael myers the theatrical cut 1.5 out of five stars. I know a lot of people hate this one, but I think because a lot of people haven't seen the producer's cut that they give it more hate than it deserves. And I actually really like resolution. I like things being explained. So the answers here really pay off for me, as well as the idea of that twist ending. It just works for horror. We're almost through all these. Follow me on Letterboxd, subscribe, and tune in for the original Halloween review coming soon. And remember, always look for the good.